Hello everybody, my name is Ron Isaac Berry at Harvard campus and today I am going to be uh, giving answers to some two digit by two digit multiplication questions I guess. So uh, do any one of you want to introduce yourself by the way? I would love to introduce myself. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you, da- uh, you look like you don't but... That's crazy. <laughs> okay. My name is Akans Chambe. I'm a class of 2026 at Harvard. My multiplication question is 27 times 89. 2,403. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. That's Hello, everybody. My name is Professor Saborno Isaac Berry from the Da Vinci Institute in South Africa. And today, on Math for Children, we're going to be doing Lesson 4.3 multiplication in different bases. So last time, as you can see here, we did subtract in different bases. In base 10, the highest one uh, that's commonly used being base 16. That looks sloppy. Base 16, which not only has the first te- uh, 10 digits, all of these handy fellas, but also these letters, which serve as placeholders for digits uh, for numbers 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, respectively. Oh, so now, what we're going to do is basically multiplication in these different bases from base 10. So, the thing is, uh, let's just erase this and get to work. So we have base 10 regularly, and I'm going to show you a few tricks for multiplication. They don't just apply to base multiplication, but also to base 10 multiplication. So base 10 multiplication is simple. Let's start with just like 24 times, I don't know, 15. So 5 times 4 is 20. So you would put 0 over here and the extra digit, in this case 2, up here. So we have 2. Uh, plus 5 times 2, 12. Okay, so now <clears throat> we're going to uh, do this, and here's the first of our tricks actually coming to light. There's a 1 here, so 1 uh, multiplied by this is literally the same thing as 24. So whatever you see a 1, you can just copy 24 mindlessly, and it's still going to work. Now, this just leaves us with total answer of 360. Alright, so now let's work our way down, starting from base 9. So, for base 9, let's say we have 870, base 9, by, uh, let's say, f- uh, 10, sir. So, 10 is actually not the best number, so let's put 11. So, you might already see that since we have 11, we can just repeat 872 times by writing it like this and like this. And that's exactly how we do it, but look for, for this. We When we're adding... We could do it normally, but whoop, 8 plus 7. 8 plus 7 is 15. But 15 in base 9 is not the same as 15 in base 10. So, what would 8 plus 7 be expressed as in base 9? Well, let's think about it. How can we express base 10, 15, in base 9? How can we convert it to base 9, basically? So... This can be expressed as 1, 9, and, well, no. This can be expressed as 1, 9, and 6, 1s. Or in other words, it would be 16, or rather 1, 6, in base 9. So, 6, and then we put the 1 on top. And now we just have 1 plus 8, but whoop! 1 plus 8 isn't going to be allowed either because that forms 9. And 9 isn't a digit in base 9. But 9 can be converted into just 1, 9 and 0, 1. Making it 1, 0, or I guess 10 technically, in 
our base 9, 1, 0. Oh. And that gives us our answer. So now, for base 8, I'm going to show you another little trick. So, what we're going to do, I'm going to do 272 for the top, and then 201 for the bottom. So, here, we can already do the one trick. We have 272. And then, here we have a zero. And the zero is really cool, because it just allows us to put zero, 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 without actually having to think about it. But then, when it comes to the two, we actually have to do our work. No, don't draw a bunch of X's. Let's move this base eight up a little. So, we have this 2 uh, multiplies into that 2 to make 4. 2 times 7 is 14. Whoop, 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 whoop. 14 in base 10 is not equal to 14 in base 8. So we got to convert. What's it going to be in base 8? Well, it's 1, 8 plus how many? 1, 6. So it's going to be 16 base 8. So, that means we're going to put a 6 here, and then we carry the 1. We always carry the 1 when we have an answer more than one digit. So, now we carry the 1. 2 times 2 plus 1 is 5. No big deal. So, now we just do it regularly. 2, 7, 2, 4, 6, 5. And that's our answer. 56, 672, base 8. Okay. So, now let's do base 7. Uh, not like that, not like that. Alright, so, for base 7, we're going to try adding some more components in. Let's try making this a little harder. Let's do 75 times 63. Well, no, 7 isn't allowed here. So let's say 55. Yes, I know, the, the bigger number is on the box. It doesn't matter for multiplication because there's commutative property. Okay, so base 7, base 7. So 3 times 5, 15. 15 is not equal to 15 in base 7. We've already gone over this. How do we get around it? Convert. This is just equal to two sevens and one one. This is 14, this is one. So that means that it's actually equal to 21 in base seven. So uh, let's take this and erase it, put it to the side. So we're gonna put a one here and then carry the two technically. So, well not technically. We're going to carry the 2. So, 3 times 5 once again, but with an added 2. That's sad. But with an added 2, it's basically the same thing. So, 17 isn't equal to 17 May 7. Soccer. So, this is instead equal to 2 times 7. And uh, 3 times 1. Wait. Yeah, that took me a second. And thus, that means it's 2, 3, base 7. So, uh, well, there's nothing else to carry, so we just write it like that. Okay, so now we're going to have to do a second round, this time multiplying the 6. So, often you're not going to have real space to do this, so you're just going to have to erase this. But for the whole regrouping thing when we're doing 6, I'm going to sew it up here to make it a little more clear. So, 6 times 5, 30. Oh no! So, 30 base 7 is uh, 4 times 7. Congratulations if you managed to get that one before me. And it's going to be three ones. Well, no, not three ones, two ones. This is 28, and this is 2. So that means it's 4, 2. 
base 7. So, we have 6 times 5, 4, 2. So, we take 2, carry the 4. 6 times 5 plus 4. You could already say it's 46, but if you wanted to be super technical about it, let's actually go through it. 34, that's going to be 4 times 7, and 6 times 1. So that's going to be 4, 6, base 7. 4, 6. Oh, look! One's twice the other. And that's super funny. 1, uh, no, not 6, 5. We can't use 8 in base 7, so this is going to be 1, 1. Uh, if you want to see that, it's because it's 1, 7, and 1, 1. And then 1 plus 4 is 5. So it's 5, 1, 5, 1, base 7. Okay. What about base 6? Let's do a similar challenge. Let's take 45 and 35. 45 base 6 and 35 base 6. 5 times 5 is going to be 25. Well, no, no, no. 25 isn't going to work. So let's convert it to base 6. That's going to be 4 times 6 and 1 times 1. 4, 1. 5 times 4, 20, 24. Uh, that's a bummer. It doesn't work. So 24 is 4 times 6, 0 times 1, 4, 0. Okay. So now uh, we're going to use the space up here for regrouping now. 3 times 5 is 15. Oh no! 15 is going to be 2 times 6, 3 times 1, 2, 3. So we take the 3, we carry the 2. 3 times 4 plus 2 is 14, which is going to be 2 times 6, 2 times 1, 2, 2. Uh, so, oh yeah, don't become confused and think that this is part of the number. It's just an expression of the base. 1, 3, 6, no. Uh, 6 and base 6 is always going to be equal to... Oh, 10. So 6 times 1, 1 times 0, 1, 0. I know that was inconsistent. And here's a hot tip. Uh, any number in its respective base is going to be equal to 10. So basically, for example, 5 in base 5 is going to be expressed as 10. So I carry the 1 here, added it to 2, that makes 30. So 3031 base 6. All right. So now I think you've gotten enough practice with this simple thing already. So let's get to binary. The funniest part of binary multiplication uh no, not binary. Base multiplication could say we have 10110 and 11001. The thing is, we could just apply our tricks from before. This 1 means all we got to do is copy the number on top. The 0 means all we got to do is write a bunch of zeros. This 0 means the same thing. This 1 means we got to copy the number on top. And the 1 over there means the same thing. It's kind of stupid, but it's how it goes. The addition might be a little more challenging depending if you have to do regrouping or not. But mostly it's the same deal. Here we have 2, oh, uh, which at base, uh, uh, which at binary or base 2 is expressed as 1, 0. So uh, 1 plus 1 plus 1, which is 3, in binary is expressed as 1, 1. I'm sure you can figure that one out yourself. 1 plus 1, which is 2, we already said, expressed in binary as 1, 0. 1 plus 1, I know that's not just a giant 1, I just did an oopsie with writing it. So 1 plus 1 is just 1, 0. 
one plus one is just one zero. And it's that simple. Even though the answer looks complex, uh, because binary only consists of zeros and ones, you can just do stupid things like these all day. So that's how to multiply in different bases. And that's basically it for what we're going to be learning about numerical bases. Thank you everybody for watching, and we'll see you in the next one. Sure, to celebrate Women's History Month because of the contributions they have made to our scientific and mathematical. <laughs>